final preparations for the challenge ahead, hoping to come out of the gates strong. A Sunday afternoon with the NBA here on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. In the and the Clippers starting five. Harden and Mann are their guards. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubats. And it's Jones in at the three, the small forward. And for Milwaukee, out on the wings for him, we'll see Trent Jr. and Middleton. The post pair, the longtime duel of Anacumbo and Lopez. And it's Lillard in at the point. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Clark, the last piece of the puzzle for Giannis Antetokounmpo, winning that 2021 NBA title. And you know, Kevin, think about this. When Giannis got that ring, he also had two MVPs, a Defensive Player of the Year award. Man, that's accomplishing a lot at just 26. Hey, Lillard has all the talent in the world, but man, this guy is a great leader lots of charisma and he holds his teammates accountable hey ga how about damian lillard's time in portland 11 magnificent years i mean kevin arguably the best trailblazer of all time rookie of the year then seven all-star appearances dame will always be a legend in the rose city throw good Damian Lillard you know Greg so often we talk about depth but how important is it for these teams to possess it yeah it, especially with the amount of injuries we see happen every season it's so critical that teams have players that are ready to step up and produce it really allow you to not have to change the way you play and both free throws good for Damian Lillard now Greg it took 40 years but the Bucks finally won their second NBA title Back in 2021. Yeah, Kareem leading that 71 squad. Giannis was the man in 2021, averaging 35 and 13 during the final. Closing out the Suns with that 50 piece in game six. First team foul. Harden outside. Six on the shot clock. And you know, Antetokounmpo is really a master at getting a hand up in the face of shooters. Excellent at contesting the shots and uh, really distracts guys when they get into their shooting rhythm. It's rebounded by Leonard. Here's the Clippers. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I was able to talk with Doc Rivers for a minute. Our coach told me the key is to stay disciplined on defense, especially when guarding James Harden. He said James is special offensively. He's a master at manipulating defenses and drawing fouls. So, of course, they don't want to give him easy points on, at the man. foul line. Guys? Thank you, David. Such a strong wing. Kawhi can more than handle his own down low. Harden against Lillard. Over Harden. That's in. He found his range with that one. Now one for two. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Down low. Here's Harden. And the jam by Harden. A strong, aggressive take that time from Harden. The Bucs have gone just one of four to get this game started. Lillard scanning the floor. On deep print. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. For Los Angeles, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. And so it's Milwaukee now. Lillard outside. Pass to Antetokounmpo. The second chance effort, and it's good on the way in. Boy, the added work in the weight room for Giannis coming into play there. 
I mean, you got to send an army to try to stop this guy. The pass to Zubats. With some arc. And Lopez pulls it down. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Trent. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Middleton, a score by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates, too. Harden outside. Pass to Leonard. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Passes it to Mann. Shot clock at six. Over Trent. A putback, and it's Zubac with the extra effort. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have no that one, gentle one. touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. A new lineup here for the Bucks. Here's Prince. Rebound by the Clippers. Outside Porter. From outside the arc. They get it again. Bucks have gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Right. Second shot opportunity. He takes it up and lays it in. And the team got excited about that one. Right felt the contact, but still managed to finish through. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Powell against Connaughton. Bamba trying to break free. Powell, that's good. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Pass to Portis. Here's Bochamp. And he converts the late. Smart pass by Portis showing the ability to make good decisions with the ball. Clippers trail by four. Porter kicks to Bamba. Back to Porter. Here's the pass to Pop. There's 48 seconds left in the first. And a missed late. Milwaukee leading by four. It's Prince on the wing. Porter's trying to free himself. Prince misses. And it's Batum with the ball. Bringing it up for Los Angeles. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. Yeah, you can see Bomba's composure down there. I mean, even when he's under pressure, he stays aggressive and calm. The Clippers shoot their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And you know, a lot of times, guys, in some of their performances last year, their free throw numbers two. help them win games. That free throw missing. Donnie's checked in for the Clippers. He hits the second from the line. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter. Right, the pass to Portis. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first. Back to right. Just five to shoot. And here's Prince outside. Fader on the way. And Portis finishes inside. Got to box out on the boards when you don't. That's what happened. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. And that does it for the first quarter. Bucks ahead. They're up by five. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Nine.
again, if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. When you consider how the Bucks are doing, what do you guys think? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Oh, there's no doubt about it, guys. Without those second chance points, this game would have had a much different feel to it. So with Leonard on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. The post pairing, Batum and Zubac. Gary Harden out there with Dunn, and it's Jones in at the three source. Oh, I really like how Dunn draws these fouls. He's actually excellent at getting defenders to foul. This is his first free throw of the game. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. You know, guys, when you look at those numbers last year for him, I think it does affect how much you're willing to go after contact because um, you're a little fearful of getting to the foul line unless you're in the and one situation. Uh, too many trips to the line when you shoot it as poorly as he does actually can hurt you. And so Dunn nails both of them. Hey, Clark, no one covers the college game like you. And for new pros, one of the biggest challenges adjusting to life in the NBA and the play itself. Speed and size, Kevin. I mean, that's where it really starts. You've got to be in great condition. But the speed and size of the players at the NBA level is unlike any other basketball you play. Everybody in the NBA is big and athletic. And things are just played and done at a much faster pace. Here's Harden. Plays it up off the glass. Harden's got his second bucket of the game to go. Boy, I love watching Harden pat the rock. Has an unlimited number of moves to choose from. Endless. Lillard, the pass to Trent. And the rejection by Zubats. Down against Trent. Dunn left side. Good. Chris Dunn's Dunn. got four points this quarter. Tell you what, guys, there's no way you're stopping Dunn when he's that close to the hoop. Trent kicks to Portis. Here's Lillard. Harden with the defensive effort. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. Done with it. Now guarded by Middleton. They get the rebound. Done shots. Good. Dunn's got the lead up to one now for the Clippers. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive class. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. Here's Lillard. No good. Shot missing. Great tee that time from Batum. Jones in the post, defended by Middleton. Jones, no luck. The Bucs have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Pass to Middleton. Harden against Lillard. The Bucs need to get a shot off here. Trent can't hit. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Kevin, the Clippers are intent on winning big. Coach Teron Lou said half of it is great talent, and I think half of it is execution. When you get to the playoffs, it's a whole different animal. We got to be 100% execution with our talent. That makes for a dangerous team. Kevin? Very dangerous. All right, David. Trying to get something going. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Now the Clippers moving it up. And Harden get the stop. Excellent finish by Harden completing that nice alley-oop. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Timeout called the Bucks. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Big group substitution.
substitution here for Milwaukee. Antetokounmpo is checked in for Bobby Portis. Torian Prince comes in for Chris Middleton. Pat Connaughton is checked in for Gary Trent. And it's DeLon right in for Lillard. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Zubox. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Nicholas Batum. Norman Powell's checked in for Jones. And Porter subbed in for Don. And it's Giannis missing. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And you know, they've got to be careful. This is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. But, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. And so, onto the Kumbo looking over it. Shoots over Leonard. And the Bucks miss again. That's one he knows he should have drained. Leonard forces it through inside. You know, a little bit of contact will not bother Leonard at all. I mean, he's so strong as a player, it's part of the deal for him. Giannis against Leonard. And it's Anadokounmpo penetrated. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G8, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Harden against Wright. Loads it up. There's Giannis. Look out below. Love the read there from Antetokounmpo. I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to alley-oop attempts. Leonard, the bounce pass. Harden against Wright. Now, here is Harden. G right on him. And Wright pulls it down. Bucks trail by five. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. To the middle. Pulls it from the elbow. A shot missing. And he rushed That's that one, no doubt point. about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Los Angeles on top. They finish off the second quarter with a massive 16-6 run. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Duran Lou. Coach, what is the focus going to be in the second half? All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Bernie Johnson. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. They did give up a couple baskets more than they wanted to, and at the end of the period, were trailing by five points. They're playing for each other right now. Selfless basketball translating into a five-point lead now after trailing initially. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? They came out as the more physical team tonight. You could tell they put an emphasis on winning the battle of the board. All of these bodies crashing the glass has given them a physical and a middle edge. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. Give them credit for keeping the score this close while shooting just over 30%. And that'll about do it as we get ready for... Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. One of the stories here, Chris Dunn getting it done today. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. The small and power forwards are the star pair of Middleton and Andre Dacumbo. The guard and off guard are Lillard and Trent. And it's Lopez, and at the center, filling out the middle. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Los Angeles leading by five. Now here's Harden. He 
he can't hit that time. Great tee that time for Middleton. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting only 31%. Their offense really struggling to put possessions together. To the inside. Seven-foot shot. Onto the Kumbo is a monster inside. Size and lift and touch make Giannis one of the best finishers in the paint. You know, you were talking about Giannis. He can put up 30 a game without taking many shots from the perimeter. That's a tall order these days, especially because he gets doubled every single time. Here's Zubat. Launches from deep. Los Angeles with another miss. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. Ante Dekumbo against Leonard. Doesn't go for him. And so Ante Dekumbo will bring it up for Milwaukee. Trent can't hit. On the wing hard, Ante Dekumbo defending. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Explosive move by Kawhi at the rim. The defense had no answer there. Giannis against Leonard. Giannis kicks to Trent. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got five rebounds tonight. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Harden inside the three-point line. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Now it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. Inside, here's Trent. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got three assists now in this one. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Zubac finds Harden over Lillard. They get it back, and it's Zubac with the extra effort. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Timeout called the Bucks. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty. So both teams making some changes here. Lillard against Porter. Lillard, the vast to Portis. Back to Lillard from the arc. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Clippers leading by five. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. It's important to remember Damian Lillard was a two-star prospect coming out of high school in Oakland. He says that the doubt I faced, what I found is I have true belief in myself. I poured a lot in and just continued to work. That's why when I struggle, I never waver because I know that I'm true to it. Eventually, I'm going to have my time. Kevin? I think they call that team time. Hey, David, thank you. Middleton against Powell. In the corner, Bumba with it. Traps in the tray. And the Clippers lead by six. You know, he's a proven shooter from distance, guys, despite his size. Bamba's got a nice feel for when he should pull the trigger on that shot. Here's Middleton. And he can't bank that one in. Down against Middleton. Offensive rebound. Bamba. And the dunk by Bamba. Bamba's got crazy length and impressive height, obviously, at north of seven feet. Helps him on that offensive board, but his tenacity, a big part of that, too. Middleton looking it over. Six to shoot. Great D that time from Powell. Clippers leading by eight. Dunn finds Powell. Now here's Porter. Over Lillard, and it's the Clippers scoring again. 
staying aggressive. Porter Jr. knows better than to back off of his shot selection. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Passes to Lillard. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. It's Prince on the wing, defended by Batum to end the run. Great tee that time from Batum. The Clippers have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Dunn misses. Bucks trail by 10. Lillard outside. Portis controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Got to put a body on Portis, or he'll wreak havoc on the offensive glass. Here's Porter. Misses the layup. And we've reached the end of the third. Clippers lead by eight. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. Clippers, 38. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. So with Harden on the bench, here's who Teron Liu's going with. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubas. Terrence Mann is out there with Kevin Porter. And it's Jones in at the three. Leonard kicks to Porter. Pass to Mann. Over Trent. Mann can't hit. Bucks trail by eight. Right, the pass to Antetokounmpo. Big time slam, Giannis! Oh, my! Another night we see Giannis at his best. This defense doesn't have a clue as to how to guard him. Zubac finds Porter. Back to Zubac. Leonard against Giannis. Outside, Jones. Off target with his three. The Bucks shooting a pretty low 34% thus far. Here's Connaughton. That shot, no good. Excellent D that time from Jones. And it's Jones with the ball for the Clippers. Here's Porter. And Wright pulls it down. The Bucks have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. The pass to Trent. To the paint. Here's Portis. Shoots over Zubats. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. That time you saw how Leonard Assistant. surveyed the floor and found the guy with the best look. Bucks trail by eight. Now a timeout, timeout called by Milwaukee. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. A different look from Milwaukee. Brook Lopez has checked in for Portis. Chris Middleton comes in for Pat Connaughton. And Damian Lillard subbed in for DeLon Wright. And a switch here also for the Clippers. James Harden, he's checked in for Kevin Porter. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He loves what they're doing in the paint. He said, if they're not stopping us, keep doing it. Keep going after it down low. We'll keep pounding it inside, guys. Thank you, David. Here's Willard. The rebound by Harden. Harden's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Leonard, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. You know, when you talk Kawhi Leonard, you start with his defense, and I don't know if there's a better wing defender around. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Clippers. They're looking to attack and transition every time down the floor, just wearing the defense thin at this point. 
They've been pounding any miss on the glass and cashing in on the offensive boards. Uh, I've been impressed with that aspect of their game. A free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Lopez passes to Middleton. Now Trent defended by man. That is good in the Los Angeles leads, but down now to just eight points with the basket from Trent. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Hunter kicks to Harden. Pass to Mann. Shoots the three. The offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Leonard. They shoot again. Rebounded by the Bucks. Trent, right side. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubats has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Mann. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. Lopez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And no good that time. Great tee that time from Leonard. On the wing, Mann. Kicks to Leonard. Over onto the Kumbo. Off the left rim and out. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whips on him. Empty that time from Leonard. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Harden outside. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Back to Leonard. Over Lopez. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Trent gets the bucket. Good feed that time from Leonard. He knows his teammates rely on him to find them just like that. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're ahead by six. And there's a minute 45 left to play here in the fourth. present our New Balance player of the game, James Harden. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a deed that was reluctant to get in his way. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. Trent against Powell. The shot from the low post is good. And the Clippers lead by eight. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. There's the lob at the Kumbo. The length, the length of Giannis on display. 
Oh. Now, I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. And here's Harden for three. Hits the three-point bomb. And we know Harden is a laser now. He has confidence in that long ball. The defense has got to get on it. Pass to Giannis. The turnaround. It's rebounded by Leonard. L.A. has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Powell down low. Goodbye, Lillard. The shot by Powell, no good. Here's Trent. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Kawhi Leonard. First <laughs> Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Two shots. Shooting two. So the first one drops, and that brings them within eight. And some changes here for the Bucks. Prince has checked in for Andre Dekumbo. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's DeLon right in for Damian Lillard. A big group substitution here for the Clippers. Mohamed Bamba, he's checked in for Zubats. P.J. Tucker comes in for Leonard. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Derek Jones. Mann subbed in for Powell. Trent hits them both. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would seal it. No question. That would be all she wrote. Here's Harden. And the jam by Harden. And James Harden feeling spry. Giving the defense everything they can handle with this scoring. Inside, here's Lopez. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Harden finds Bamba. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Back to Harden. Just five on the clock. The Clippers need to get off a shot. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. The and the so Los Angeles takes the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Kawhi House. Thank you, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching.